Creating an index with FrameMaker 11 is quite simple. Um, in, many ways, so in many aspects, you actually have more control than you do over Microsoft Word, but we're going to show you how to do something um, powerful but simple. Um, in this case, I've got a track of text that talks about Arizona that starts on page the second page, and it ends on the third page. So what I'd like to do is to actually have um, two index markers that would give me a range of pages that talks about one topic. Now, I've created a page to illustrate this for you. Basically, to make index markers for a page range, your first index marker needs to look like this. Start page, start page range matching text. This would go inside of your index marker. And um, here where it says matching text, this is where you enter whatever you're talking about. And this matching text must be identical in the marker that's going to close it off on another page. It's going to say end range, but where it says matching text, that text must be identical to what we had in the first index marker. This will be clear to you as I go ahead and insert this in an actual document. So I've gone here to where our text starts talking about Arizona and I'd like to actually in insert one of these markers. So I'm going to go ahead and put in um, angle bracket dollar sign start range just move this down start range and then in, in all caps I'm going to say all about and then Arizona in upper lower case. Now before I hit new marker to save this uh, to save this entry, here's a little tip. Make a copy of it. Uh, select it and go Control C. So you've copied that text, then say New Marker. Now I'm going to move on to the next page, and this is the area where the um, the text about in, uh, Arizona ends. So right in here, I'm going to copy that text that we had in our first marker. Remember that it said Start Range. So the only thing that we need to do is to delete out the word Start and insert the word end. And then we have that matching text I talked about. It's really important that this be the same. So we put a new marker, and if you look closely, there's a little marker down there. Okay, we'll save our document. Now, I'm doing this on a chapter level and I'm testing. So this is for test purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and actually generate an index. I would normally not do this on a document basis. FrameMaker warns me you usually use a book. But let's go ahead and generate it to see what we get. And once it's complete, you'll see here that under the letter A, here are those page ranges I talked about. Um, these, all of your um, index entries are hyperlinked in FrameMaker. So if I hold down Control Alt and click on the first page, it will actually take me to wherever that occurs. And that will carry me right over to page 20 for editing purposes. This concludes our demonstration and it shows you just how easy it is to go ahead and create a range of pages within FrameMaker for an index.